tripod vault and tripod get ups. Uh, this is this can be a very intimidating movement for a lot of people. Um, it just you know there's a lot of history. If you're you know in that sedentary community, you're a desk jockey, you have a bigger body. You know there's just so much fear in around the shoulders and pain, right? So again, you know learning how to strengthen that shoulder girdle and having that confidence in our physical competence to be able to work through these movements and kind of get past some of the fear that keeps us from moving and trying things. Um, and again, keeping with the theme of starting from the top and going down, when it comes to tripod transitions, tripod vaults, uh, tripod get-ups, you know, starting with uh, a modified vault. So we have an elevated surface for the upper body and then a slightly less elevated surface for the lower body. And you know, getting comfortable with one, can I put pressure? How do I feel? You know, being able to excellently rotate that hand, get the lats to engage a little bit more, really create a stable shoulder joint, and then learn where am I putting more of the effort? Like, am I relying on my upper body to support all this mass, or am I a little more evenly distributed and letting this leg kind of pick up a brunt of the effort? Because our legs are much stronger than our upper body, right? And as we're going through this, thinking, okay, first, you know, I don't need to worry about bringing that foot up and over an object. One, can I stabilize, right? So creating that stability, right? I get that hand securely planted, feel stable in the shoulder, get that foot up, and then just nice and easy, swing my leg through. As I progress this, right, I can work on you know, as I develop that strength and feel good, I can think about bringing that foot up and over with me, right? So hand and foot, feeling stable, using this leg to lift my hip higher so I can more easily step over. And as that starts to feel easier, you know, we can start to line up our hand and foot height so they're a little bit more even, right? You know, and this just kind of sinking in here will kind of help us realize where we kind of need to put some effort, right? And if hip mobility is an issue, you know, we can use this as kind of an active stretch, right? So, you know, as I kind of sink in, I can like, oh, I can take some of that weight off my shoulder. I can kind of use my weight and use gravity to help open up that hip, right? And then just still easily swing that leg through, right? I don't have to worry about stepping over, yeah. I can focus on, again, strength, stability. And as we get more and more confident, right, we can then start to think about, I can now lift myself with this leg, right, and then step over, right? And if it helps, get in an object in between these boxes so that we can more easily replicate that um, tripod get up, or sorry, tripod vault, right? And again, you know, just taking our time, finding that bolster um, that allows us to appropriately train. Finding that object to actually step up and over is always gonna be helpful, right? So I'm here, I can now think about lifting through that leg and reaching that foot up and over, right? And from there, you know, we can add a little bit more complexity, right? I now have that full height. Do I have that strength? Do I have that stability to overcome that fault? So again, starting high and working low. Once we feel pretty good there, then we can take things to the ground, right? We're back on that tripod, um, you know, from the ground, focusing on that get up or that transition, right? Do I have the strength and stability to just one, go from a hip to a quadruped, right? And then pushing up into that prone get up, right? Using both hands, right? And as I get stronger, right? Going from that single hand push up, 